and welcome to my YouTube video. In this video I'm going to demonstrate how to work a provisional cast on over the cable of a needle. This is the cable that I'm going to use to cast on over and this is the needle that I'm going to use to create the stitches and the working needle for the working yarn. In this situation you do not need a provisional or waste yarn. We're going to start right out with the working yarn. I made a slip knot and I'm placing it on the needle that I'm using for the provisional stitches. Then I'm going to put the working yarn in my left hand just as I would for casting on stitches, say for a long tail cast on. The provisional needle is down here by my thumb. I'm going to enlarge this. So I have the working yarn going over my finger of my left hand. Here's the tail. And I have that cable running down here below. I'm going to just place the yarn over the tip of my working needle. That's going to be stitch one. And then I'm going to go underneath the cable of the provisional cable and pick up a new stitch on the working needle. Then I'm going to yarn over. Then go underneath the provisional cable and pick up a stitch with the working needle yarn over, go underneath the provisional cable, pick up a new stitch, yarn over, and go under and pick up. So you can see that we're putting stitches on the working needle but we're also putting loops over that provisional needle. So let's say that's the last stitch. We've got two, four, six, eight cast on and we're going to turn and work or join in the round, whichever you're going to do. I'm just going to turn and work back and work a row. So you just knit or purl, whatever your design calls for. I'm going to say knit and I'll purl the next row. You could start out by purling the first row. Depends on what you're working on. and then you would turn and you would continue doing your project. I'm going to do a, a wrong side row now or purl row. So now we've worked two rows after the cast on and now I'm going to show you how to work the rows from the provisional needle, the blue needle. Let me get a separate yarn here. I'm going to use red for this. So we're going to push the blue needle up into position for working. We're going to start out with our red yarn so you can see what's happening here. and we'll just knit. Now you'll notice on the, this is the slip knot. We're going to let the slip knot come off. That was the slip knot. We're not counting it as a stitch. The first stitch here has a normal stitch mount. We're going to knit it. The next stitch will have a reverse stitch mount. So you need to knit through the back. This has a normal stitch mount so we can just knit it. This has a reverse stitch mount so we'll knit to the back normal, reversed, normal, reversed. And we've got our eight stitches so we're going to turn. So let's say this was a cardigan or something and you were casting on for the body and you work the body and then you come back to work the neck. We would be working the neck now. So you could do this in your ribbing choice or whatever the design is that you're going to work for the neck of your project. This is just such an easy thing to do. Now when I use this method, I usually cast on over a cable of an interchangeable needle. And then I remove the needle tips and put on the little stoppers on the end. It's a lot less fiddly than trying to mess with all those needle tips. So if you like this, um, give me a thumbs up. Share my videos with your friends. 
I have a knit along going on on Ravelry right now. It's called I Tag Yoke, and it's about creating your own yoke design based upon your swatch, your yarn, your needles, and your body measurements. I have a group on Ravelry called Knitting with Suzanne Bryan and a group on Facebook called Knitting with Suzanne Bryan, and you can join those groups too. So give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, share my videos with your friends, and come back and watch more. Happy knitting!